And welcome back. In order to save a little bit of time and your effort, we have jumped directly into the battle. You guys surged forward with the might of a force and completely caught the Atlanteans off guard. However, you learned something very quickly. Their archers are very accurate. And they have rock hoppers on top of the walls. They're on the walls. How dare they? You should know rock hoppers. You invented them. Rock hoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Did we change the name of it? No, it's rock hoppers. Is that kind of like a grasshopper? Something way worse, homie. Once I bring it up, I can describe it to the audience. Yeah, this is why I'm kind of giggling. He invented this creature. And I'm having a fucking brain fart moment, because I created a lot of creatures, so... And then a lot of their names changed over time, so... Some of them did. Yeah. Most of them have stayed the same. Rock. If I find it before you, I'm gonna laugh so freaking hard. I'm on mobile, this is not fair. <laughs> Find and replace them. I know, I'm using it. Uh, yeah, there's rest. no rock hoppers we do not exist. Hold on. Yeah. Let's thorn go. hoppers, sorry. Yeah. Thorn hoppers! Oh. Thorn hopper! I thought that's what you were talking about, but I was like, did he no, change No, 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 no. Thorn okay. hoppers. I named them the wrong one. Nor thorn hoppers on top of the walls! Domesticated thorn hoppers. We're nice. in for a bad time is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> These creatures that I created are pretty fucking beefy. <laughs> they have acid spit. All targets take acid proc. That's the proc that I was thinking melts the armor. Yeah. Is acid proc. Perfect acid. All shields, armor, mechanized vehicle, and dragon's armor are reduced... P I gain a reduced PR per successful hit regardless of severity roll. Negative 1.1 1. 1 PR per hit. Yeah. When the item has no more remove uh, PR, start removing Dura until the item is broken and cannot be used. You can use this up to extreme ranges. So all of their attacks that are their acid spit. Yeah. Yeah. Super Sense 3. Perfect balance, jump fails only on a one, and they are master twigs. For two Dura on improvisation weapons. Yeah, so they're gonna fucking shoot at us, and then they're gonna pick up our fucking remaining weapons and start beating us to death with them. Hello, Thornhoppers. I didn't it think I'd. I wanted you on my side, this is an unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't create a creature and give it to me, because I will just. Uh, <laughs> moral of the story, uh, Statagar fucked up. I gave the GM a very powerful creature. <laughs> like I gave you my creature. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. However, you're thankfully mm -hmm. the shields for now are holding and the thorn hoppers are not quite as effective every once in a while they'll be able to nick a couple of wyverns, but you guys can heal that away for now. But it's taking a toll on the wyverns, so effectively you have no air support. So to add to the list of things you need to do is to get thorn hoppers and their S and their defenders off the walls. Yeah. However, you do have a slight stronghold at the opening of the mouth, the mouth of the cave, which you guys opened. Yes. Well, it's just a giant hole of melted glass, but yes. <laughs> Shit. Uh, did we need to do initiative rolls? Yes. That's what I was waiting for, sorry. Cool. Yeah, you didn't say anything. 20! Can I save that? Yes. Uh... 13. 13? 13. 13. Uh, this is 18. Closed, but Yes. It has the closed parts. Yeah, you're still running. You got another turn. Or another two turns. I do not have a save 20, so I'm gonna save that 20. Save it. Roll again. Six. Six, alright. You will come in um, and have to get orders from Black Rose. When you get here, which you take a Three, or you can roll to send some. 
However, as you guys launched out, Black Rose seemed to blind everything that was now outside of this. He just zoomed ahead of you guys, and as you guys went up, you guys noticed that there was nothing firing, and it, it, then it came. So you guys had plenty enough time to get half of the um, heavy ordnance out, and the rest just crawled their ways out. So they weren't willing to jump. Most of your wyverns are grounded as of right now, and it is kind of hard to get... Those that land are severely damaged. So, air support is offline. And that's what it sounds like constantly as the lines go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, you can attempt to find a lieutenant. You can reinforce a certain section of the line if you would like. You can go after the rock hoppers. You can try to take, remember you got two sets of walls to get them off of right now. Or you can try to help fortify the location of which you have already secured. I think it'd be best to fortify first. Okay, you're going to fortify the location? Yeah. Very cool. Fortify with a whopping 12. Yep. The location is not going to fall anytime soon. Archers have now taken up kind of overhead, so you guys have equal advantage points to the wall that is ahead of you, but you still have overview, have an, the overhead castle wall that it can mm -hmm. still rain down. However, mm -hmm. you were able to build the fences um, that stop those rock hoppers, but they will not hold forever. Mm -hmm. Alright. But they will hold indefinitely. <laughs> yes. So, they work for now. Alright, cool. Now you. Yes. So, there was a big wall, there was archers on top of it, we're trying to break it down. Two walls. Two walls, or archers. You got on. one here, and the one here. You guys have built at your, the flat zone here, an equal two, so you're, it's now like this, back and forth instead of them constantly down on you. These walls, I should emphasize, are the first wall you see is 40 feet, the wall behind you is 80 feet. Okay. And it seems like they keep getting higher the further you guys go in. So it implies that it gets deeper and deeper. Each wall, there are archers and, and rock hoppers, or thorn, thorn hoppers. Yeah. Okay. But what are the wall made of? Docks. Yeah. I thought so. I thought I'd double check. Yep. No, you're good. Okay. However, I do want to point out that there's been so much killing and reverse battling going back and forth that the glass that is normally it's beautiful almost see-through blue is being permanently stained by that. going to go to a front and help a front because you've got two fronts you need to remember you need to still take the rest of the wall but you've got these two walls I'm are standing you right here in the middle of two walls oh on top of the are, yeah, on and I'm casting the AOE spell Maelstrom okay which is a which uh, hits at close to long range uh, instant induces instant shock and burn procs it's a typhoon electricity and fire that only hurts enemies yep. but it's charged time to decide by a d20 okay Three. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yikes. So in three turns, this will go off. Okay. Uh, let me see if one uh, the officer spots you. Three and a two. Ooh. Cleanly no. Mm -hmm. Cleanly no. <laughs> Cleanly no. There are that does reveal to these guys meta knowledge. To you guys, there are two around. Okay. I'm supposed to roll. For Yes. Yes, you need to roll. Well, this is. I was gonna bring Rock around to this. Yeah. So reduce yours because that's the end of their turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the top of your turn. Yeah. Roll. Perception. 
Perception of 33. Well, minus the roll. And a 7 or higher. And a 6 it is! Ah, delightful. My dice didn't screw me. <laughs> you feel the birth of your successor. Oh, that's happening today. Of all fucking days. <laughs> it could be unnatural. Very unfortunate. <laughs> so he's playing with timetables that they really did not do. <laughs> what assholes. Alright, now you have to turn. Alright. However, due to the distraction, negative five on all rolls for the rest of the day. The battle will continue for two more parts. Yeah, it's weighing heavy on the Yeah, negative five? Damn it. Because where are the civilians fleeing to that don't want to fight? Right now, they're just going further up into the city. Yeah. That's what they would do. <laughs> we're talking about when where there's yeah. three layers on three layers. She's talking yeah. about when we're getting to the final hours of the battle. Were the citizens who genuinely are cornered between one end and another. Yeah. Not the ones who are actively currently trying to stop you from advancing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to roll for advancement, but I have that make five, so it might suck. <laughs> what are you going to do from the lieutenants? Uh, Fifteen, it's a ten or a higher. Depends on that. To a three! Uh, Holy uh, shit! Kicked his ass. You pushed him back, you actually came sight of the first officer as he's giving the orders. Perfect. He is locked up in two buildings in front of you. Hmm. So we have a general location of one of them. You know you know where he's yeah. at. He is in that building. You saw him cleanly with your eyes. Cool. Gonna pay him a beating. <laughs> <laughs> beating or a killing? Look, if I submit, yes. <laughs> if he submits, it won't have to be a kill. The answer is yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm charging the maelstrom. I'm at two turns. Okay. You're still running. However, you can cleanly hear the battle that has erupted. I start the summoning process. Um, can't, it's either run or summon. Whoa. Prepping the summon. You, you can't okay. prep a summon. Okay. You have to stay still for the summon because it's a channel. Part of the summoning okay. is the present. My apologies. Yep, yeah, don't be yep, yep, yep. But you can hear it, and you're underwater and still in complete blackness. That's how loud this battle is. And the lieutenant is going to try to push back. Hmm. With a six. Do I need a roll? Yes, he's pushing back. Yes. Five. Two. Oh Two. shit! You are pushed almost all the way back to the the the, the safe zone. Like you're pushed back to your safe yeah. zone. You pushed him. He pushed right back. Dick. Dick move. The other lieutenant on the opposite side. He's gonna try to push. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, 11. To 11. Barely p gaining anything on the opposite side, but they do get pushed back a little bit, but not to the safe zone. Okay. You lost way more ground. Yeah. Black Rose is going to take his turn. Mm. And probably nuke aside. Mm. And he's going to nuke aside. 17 to a 15 with a negative 15 to the 17. Hmm. Yep. He's got a nuke aside. <laughs> so, the side that you got pushed back to, the safe zone, just erupts as everyone running at you just literally in front of you falls to ash as Black Rose just starts floating overhead. That isn't part of the deal. They are combatants. I still didn't want this much rock-based blood on my hand. <laughs> 
rock blood. Yeah. Hi, good sir. You Hi. see Black Rose floating over one section. <laughs> that section is gonna get nuked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what section is he doing? First wall, second wall, the right, the opposite one of Andreas. So Andreas going um, right, and he's going left around the circle. Okay. So first wall. Yeah, well, no, they're going. You're inside the two walls. Yeah, yeah. So he's going this way, and she's going this way. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, they're on the same side. Sorry, they're on the same side, so they're both going this way. Okay. All right. I just realized that because I said to fix the side because the other yeah. side barely fell. So yeah, fix his side. They're both over there. Yeah. So there's a wall behind us. And a wall in front of us. And a wall in front of us. And, and you've got certain. city. And yeah. And it, yeah. Okay. And then you're inside one of the, the layers of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I'm going to just switch the aim from the... I'm, just, I'm actually going to actually aim the maelstrom towards the wall in front of me there. The wall in front of you? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep track. Okay. This is the last turn. Targeting. I've never used this before. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. This is going Wait, is nobody going to stop me? <laughs> at this point, usually someone stops. Someone stops me at this point and nothing's happening. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I'm being unsupervised over here. <laughs> All of a sudden, I lack. <laughs> I lack adult supervision. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you finally break out of the hole, and holy shit, D-Day erupted on the planes. And mind you, there's still soldiers surging through. You guys haven't got all 10 million soldiers. You're just getting reinforcements who are able to get in. There's literally a line right now. So lines will fall and soldiers will surge and then they wait. That's how many soldiers are still waiting in line to get to the battle. Yeah. You're, most of your heavy ordnance is still. However, you may clear up some airspace. Because if you can get one layer down, you can put them on the opposite side of that that base layer there mm -hmm. and get you all of the fun air air and use walls as protections. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta clear the walls first. Yeah. Uh, you will clear a you mm -hmm. you will clear about an eighty foot section of the wall off by the way. Fuck oh, yeah. Which Why gives you kind of ass because he's using a large Ranged, and that usually is, that's that's huge for me. That's no, I said, do I see him? No, you just see the battle going on. So you're coming up on the cave, like the cave opening. They're actually in the city battle. Okay, but you do see a little dot and just beams of light all going this way. Come on, stop standing there. I'm gonna try and add some demonic magic to it. To what? His maelstrom. You can't. Damn. You don't know where I am. You can't see him. You see the person floating mm. is Black Rose. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I will be summoning Dracul. Alright. The Wyvern. Yeah. Don't have enough space yet. Again, kind of the point of the rock hoppers. Thorn hoppers. Thorn hoppers. Thorn hoppers. Thorn hoppers. Thorn yeah, they rock do their job. Rock penguin. Yeah, that's, that's where you're getting mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking of Rocco. Rock yeah, hopper. from fucking... Pebble and the Penguin, yeah. yeah. Great movie. Awesome movie. Shout out <laughs> to my boy Don Bluth. <laughs> oh, such a good movie. Unless he did something weird. I don't know his history. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at his character sheet. 
Yeah. Well, he's yeah. got to get to a front. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take, like I said, there's, this isn't to give you a scope, it's taking you parts of the day to get to the battle. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and head towards the, where it looks like they need the help most. Well, you've got Black Rose going, and his army going this way. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. You've got the wall in front that's being assaulted by arrows and return magic and return magic and what looks like acid is being made by creatures that are fucking terrifying nightmare fuel. Sputing back. Um, <laughs> and then you've got um, the other side which is going kind of back and forth evenly. Okay. I'll go to the one that's going back and forth evenly. Alright, we'll take your part of turn to get there. Like I said, it's more of, there's not enough space for you to get there, too. I want to get you there, you just, you physically can't fit. All right. And we'll go first, Lieutenant. Oh, no, we're at the bottom. Top is you. Yes. I need to advance. So you're going to take advantage of Black Rose and move the soldiers forward? Yeah. Okay, see how far you get. So. 18. No. With my negatives, also no. No, you don't have the negatives. Oh. Like I said. Still fail. Well, no, this is for him to survive the assault. Uh, yeah, no, the, the officer did escape you guys in advance. Mm -hmm. Barely. Mm -hmm. You almost clipped him. You clipped him pretty hard in the ribcage. You can confirm that this particular officer is an elf. Interesting. <laughs> Quite so. Yeah. That should be relayed to black. Boys. So you're gonna. Hey, big boy! Yeah. <laughs> nice shooting there. We have problems now. <laughs> Turn. All right. Maelstrom goes off, and you watch it literally as these creatures roar before exploding internal combustion style. As most of the <laughs> as most of the rest of the Atlanteans either fall off or from the concussive wave that is created from the explosions, are launched off the walls. All right. Troops are starting to pour up the walls and taking over and forming. Uh, the bottom layer of walls. Mm. Defense for walls. Mm. So you have cleared that side. Yep. You see this. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. I'm not going to make an attempt. Don't stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't mimic that perfection. <laughs> I'm gonna start pushing. Alright. You're the only officer on this front, so there's no bonuses. That's why I said you don't have any negatives this round. There's no additional officers to help you, so it's you versus him. I thought I still had negatives from the birth thing, except for the rest. Yes, but who's above you? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said you're not the only officer on this side. Yeah. Uh, 16 in defense. Hmm. Oh no, another box. GG. I'm just gonna use my saved. <laughs> I was staring at that one, <laughs> and I was like, mm, "Your your defenses are gonna be tested, good sir." Either one or a twenty of this guy. <laughs> All right, I'm just using my save. So you barely push him back, but you do get about 20 feet worth of city under your control. So you do push back a bit. Black Rose is going to take his turn in an attempt to re-push on that one side. Now that he knows what this officer looks like, he's going to dive on him try to catch him. Or does miss him. This guy is quick. Either that or he knows the city a little too well. But you guys have, again, pushed further back into the wall. You are now a quarter of the way through your side. You still have a lot, a lot to go. 
But yeah, you guys have now pushed a quarter of the way. Now troops can actually steadily march in. They're fortifying locations. The low ground around you is now mm -hmm. starting to be rebuilt with allied troops and fortified with allied troops. There, okay. There's no longer a stall at that entrance. It's now continuous. Good. You have our end. For now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because we're back at the top. Yeah. And I'm still waiting to push them back. So, push them back. They need to get the fuck out of my way. I got shit to do. Like, Eleven. Deal with their fucking team. Ooh, you have a chance to catch him. Oh, Ten or higher, you, you guys catch him. Twelve. Would you like to initiate the battle? Sure. Who would you like to bring with you? Black Rose is in the area. I know, but... I kind of... He's he's doing work elsewhere. He's fine. <laughs> you do single handedly at this. I just want you to know. Yeah. So I mean I just do it myself then. Alright. So you guys finally cornered this guy. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, elf with blonde hair. He's got very pretty hazel eyes. Um, he is of African skin nature. Mm -hmm. He pulls the blade out and he is ready to defend himself. I don't wanna fight you. But you're leaving me out of the choice. He smiles and goes, but that's the difference. We want to fight you. And he lunges at you. <laughs> I have to roll a 20. Yeah. And you still don't roll. 19. Uh oh, almost did it. He! <laughs> I will give him huge props, but I'm going to counter. How? Um, I actually have a specific counter, and I don't know if it'll work for this scenario. I pretty much just want to, like, subdue him. I don't... As long as he's unconscious, I don't have to deal with him anymore. That's my goal. So you're just gonna, like, sidestep and punch him in the face? <laughs> if that knocks him out, then yes. <laughs> you gotta apply procs, but for the most part, yeah. Alright. So. You sidestep. An 8. No, severity, homie. Oh, severity, so that's a d10. D4. Come on, die. You were laughing at me, and you missed the easiest one to hit. And I can't it doesn't even roll. I'm the only person today that hasn't missed the bull. Ooh. I just want to say, I just want to say that right now. I haven't missed the bull. Four. Yeah, he's out. I just you just like <laughs> sidestep as you look true. at the dagger, which is, by the way, <laughs> and you're just. <laughs> However, you do see at the base of the back of his neck, mm -hmm. there is a rune very similar to the mark that you have, flares up at the bottom, but he's still unconscious. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> is there any other people around me? Like, I need to just... No, oh, yeah, soldiers can just pick him. They're, they're not going to do anything. Yeah. So far, nothing major has happened. It's all just been standard warfare. No atrocities has happened. Right. It's just really hard. Yeah. Rough warfare. Well, I want him to be subdued and brought he's back. To, he's unconscious. Yeah, and brought back to our area so that we can interrogate him for questioning. So, so take, him, take him to the leader? Yeah. Take him to our leader? Okay. So, you guys see an elf being brought in. You, more specifically, because you're out in front. Since you're still at the base, that'll be your turn. As you are coming down from the top of the tower, of which you kind of feel pretty snug, mm -hmm. you see an elf being brought in, and there you hear them talk about how he's one of the one of the officers of this level. Mm -hmm. One of them. They turn and go. Oh, were you not briefed? I appear to not be. There's six officers per level to pull out a lieutenant, and there's a lieutenant in front of every level. This is one of his officers. Yeah. Alright then. We don't, we've been chasing, we had sight on another one, but nobody's seen him since the battle and Rosgris, and Rosgris, Lucian's side has suffered quite heavy casualties in the back and forth. Well, this is the last part of the day for battle. Okay. Well, let's cut out the middleman and get, and, uh, I'll... Well then, let's just cut out the middleman here, and I turn not. I turn to the captain. I bow. The I, officer. That's the officer that we captured. Yeah, he's he's kind of bound on a chair, and he kind of looks at you. 
He's, he's pretty. Yeah. You could tell that whoever caught him did not inflict damage, but somewhere mm. along the route, damage was indeed inflicted. Well, I'm going to use cleric magic. Okay. To bring him back to bring him to full consciousness. <gasps> you kind of. Thank you. He kind of eyes the two guards, trying to like subtly like scoot away from them. Ah, no problem. And <laughs> don't worry about them. They won't do anything to you. At least, not if you don't answer our questions. Mm-hmm. Where is your other office? Where's your other officers? He opens his mouth as if he would like to respond, and then immediately closes it. You have super sense. Yes, two. Yes, you will be a, you're, you're high enough to pick this up, but don't worry. Yeah. It's a challenge dice, so neg five, you're all sure. Don't know what that is. Uh, you, 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 yeah, That's you 17. 12, so it would have been a 10. Yeah, you got it. Clean. Yep. You feel magical interruption interrupting this guy. Mm. Yeah. As if magic is controlling his, where it's not... Not choice. Indeed. We gotta dispel the magic. Mm -hmm. you, that's still going on in the background, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> so this is the last part of the day for the battle. Mm -hmm. I will dedicate the rest of my turn to figuring out what my enchantments at play. Okay. Um, are you going to go get uh, attempt to find a rune expert to help you, or are you going to try to do it yourself? I will grab a rune expert out of mine. Would you like to grab Leslie or else? In the mid? I'll grab Leslie. In the mid seems to be occupied. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has gone into the HQ and has not left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, Leslie kind of has been running to and fro. She's a little upset that she her father is negated her to what he calls savior duty. She's, she's healing people. She doesn't understand the importance of it. She'd rather be on the front lines, showing off and being a badass. However, when you offer her a challenge, she kind of looks up and goes, I'm interested. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so uh, there's a guy who can't speak. Ma magic is changing his words. We need that fixed. Because I don't think any amount of torture would be able to change it. Not any that the gods would approve of. Or try to investigate us for. Not yet. Hmm. I'm intrigued. She kind of drops the, like, dude's foot. Oh! You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Show me. I show her. She sees the flare. Ooh. I don't recognize this, but it's, it's got to be similar to our flesh. Uh, the runes we we do with you guys. She goes, mm, I wonder if it's like brothers. As she attempts to remove his marks, the man starts excruciating pain, way more than just kind of like having something on the crick of your neck, like poked at with a knife. That's it's right. more like he is on fire. Mm -hmm. Like there is unnatural screaming. Mm -hmm. So, think you can pick it? I can't. I told my mom can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll let her do her thing. Oh, she'll have some fun. Hey, mom! And you don't even. You're like. And then you feel. Her grace approaches. She goes. Yes. You got a, You guys pointed out so. With her addition, you get a plus 15 to your roll. Um, so you yeah. need a 1 or nothing. Roll the 9. Nice. So, yeah, after a lot of pain on his part, you are finally able to remove the room. Yep. Here's a pillow of light on it. And you'll find out what happens next. Okay. On the eternal cycle origins. Catch you, the audience. Thank you guys for listening, and we hope you enjoy. Later!